cancer, now there's a new food on the market called Brocco Sprouts that's been engineered in a lab. Its creators say it contains 20 times the amount of the cancer-fighting chemical found in broccoli. Jed Fahey is one of the scientists who developed the new superfood. Jed, good morning. Good to have you here. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Brocco Sprouts are different from broccoli. How? They are. Brocco Sprouts is actually a, a, a trade name, a brand name. And uh, let, let, let me reassure you, these, these are not genetically engineered. You mentioned they're engineered in a lab. They're not genetically engineered. They're, they're selected. They're just grown in a lab. They're, they're, they're grown in carefully controlled uh, conditions, carefully environmentally controlled conditions. Uh, uh, and they are certified to contain certain levels of sulforaphane GS, which is a... Uh, SGS a, is the common way we refer to that. Right, right. right. So what is it about SGS in foods that causes a prevention of cancer? Well, SGS is a, is a compound which was discovered by Paul Talalay and Yushin Zhang. Paul is a pioneer in, in cancer prevention research. Um, in, in the early 90s, you may, may remember uh, there was some, uh, some interest in broccoli back in the early 90s. President Bush uh, at the time declared that he wasn't interested in broccoli. Um, and uh, at that point, Paul invited me to come, after that discovery, invited me to come and help him set up a, a plant research lab at Johns Hopkins. And we wanted to look at, further investigate broccoli and its relatives for their chemoprotective properties. And as we looked at smaller and smaller, younger and younger plants, in fact, plants, if I may handle this salad, sure. pl plants that are only three or four days old, we found that they contained, much to our surprise, they contained extremely high levels of this SGS, this protective compound. Let me give an example. So what we're saying, basically, the claim being made is that Brocco sprouts contain the same amount of those cancer-fighting chemicals, an ounce of them, that a pound and a quarter of broccoli would have. Correct, correct. They're, they're, they're 20, on average, about 20 times uh, as, as potent on, in, in this chemoprotective property. Getting back to the brand name, broccoli sprouts have been on the market for some time. Why are Brocco sprouts better than regular broccoli sprouts? Broccoli sprouts came on the market as soon as we announced our discovery in 1997, um, and everybody jumped to get them on the market. We, uh, we were very concerned that um, care be taken that a source of of good seeds be, be, be located and identified and verified. All broccoli sprouts are not alike. And so we had to take some time to identify the proper seeds, develop a seed source, and then develop a laboratory which could verify the, the quality and the potency of the sprouts that are, that are produced. Let's go through a couple of items quickly. How much of these do I have to eat to get the benefit? Uh, a, a standard serving would be about a half a cup or, or, or an ounce, and uh, you know, my, my family eats them three or four times a week uh, in, in a meal, in a salad or in a, in a sandwich, or uh, um, my son takes them to school in a sandwich. We sprinkle them on pizza. We put them in casseroles. Who or should eat them? Anybody? Uh, anybody. Anybody. They're, well, they're, just, they're just another vegetable, yet they're a vegetable which has certified quantities of a compound that we know uh, may be very good for you. Quickly, but medically speaking, what about people who've already been diagnosed with cancer? Has there been proven any kind of reverse effect that they can actually eliminate cancer? No. Uh, this is not a cure, and we're not representing it as that at all. Okay. And how, how many parts of the country can we find these in right now? Well, they are, they are being nationally distributed now, although they're not in all major metropolitan markets, but we're working towards, uh, towards that. All right, Jed Fahey, thank you very much for the information. Thank you. 822, we're back right after these messages.